Amidst the breathtaking landscapes of the Indian subcontinent lies a network of lifelines that sustains millions of lives, the rivers. These sinuous arteries weave through dense forests, bustling cities and fertile plains, harboring a wealth of biodiversity. Among these guardians of the river stands an enigmatic creature uniquely adapted to the ever-changing currents and secrets hidden beneath the surface. This is the Gharial. The Gharial, Gabialis gangeticus, is a species as ancient as time itself. Its elongated snout, lined with sharp teeth, distinguishes it from its crocodile relatives. At first glance, it appears fragile, almost delicate. Yet, beneath its seemingly unassuming exterior lies a predator of unparalleled grace and efficiency. The gharial's slender frame and streamlined body propel it through the water with remarkable agility, while its sharp eyes can spot the faintest ripples and movements below. For millions of years, the gharial has thrived in these riverine habitats, serving as a crucial link in the intricate ecological web. However, the gharial now faces an unparalleled crisis, habitat degradation, rampant pollution, and unsustainable fishing practices have pushed this ancient creature to the brink of extinction. Physical Features and Adaptations The gharial with its distinctive physical features and specialized adaptations is perfectly suited for its life in the riverine habitats of the Indian subcontinent. Its unique characteristics enable it to navigate the waters with remarkable efficiency and excel as a predator. At the forefront of the gharial's physical features is its elongated snout, Unlike other crocodilians, the gharial possesses a slender and elongated snout that sets it apart. This adaptation is a hydrodynamic marvel, allowing the gharial to move through the water with minimal resistance. With its streamlined shape, the gharial can effortlessly glide through swift currents, maintaining speed and agility. The snout of the gharial is lined with interlocking teeth, specially designed for its piscivorous diet. These sharp, needle-like teeth are well-suited for catching and holding onto slippery prey, particularly fish. The interlocking pattern of the teeth ensures a secure grip, preventing fish from escaping and ensuring successful captures. A sleek and streamlined body further enhances the gharial's aquatic prowess. Its elongated physique minimizes drag as it propels through the water, allowing for swift and silent movements. Its streamlined body shape also aids in reducing turbulence, enabling the gharial to approach its prey with minimal disturbance. The gharial possesses a powerful tail that acts as a formidable propeller. With strong tail strokes, it can swiftly change direction and accelerate, making it a highly maneuverable predator. The combination of its streamlined body and powerful tail gives the gharial an advantage in pursuing and capturing prey. The wild gharial population has witnessed a drastic decline since the 1930s, now limited to a mere 2% of its historical range. Conservation programs initiated in India and Nepal have been actively working towards the reintroduction of captive-bred gharials since the early 1980s. However, the species continues to face numerous threats. Loss of habitat due to sand mining and conversion to agriculture, depletion of fish resources, and detrimental fishing methods pose ongoing challenges to the population. As a result, the gharial has been classified as critically endangered on the IUCN Red List since 2007. The oldest known depictions of the gharial date back around 4,000 years and were found in the Indus Valley. Hunting Behavior The gharial's hunting behavior is a testament to its remarkable adaptation as a specialized fish-eating predator. Equipped with its unique physical features, the gharial employs various strategies to capture its preferred prey and thrive in the riverine ecosystems. A study conducted by researchers from the University of Florida and the Wildlife Conservation Society examined the hunting behavior of gharials in the Chambal River of India. The researchers observed gharials hunting fish during the breeding season and found that gharials primarily targeted small to medium-sized fish species. They observed that gharials would remain motionless in the water, with only their eyes and nostrils exposed, patiently waiting for fish to come within striking distance. Once a fish was detected, the gharial swiftly lunged forward, snapping its jaws shut to capture the prey. The study provided valuable insights into the hunting tactics and prey preferences of gharials in their natural habitat. 
The elongated snout of the gharial plays a crucial role in its hunting technique. It allows the gharial to remain submerged with only its eyes and nostrils above the water surface, effectively camouflaging itself while surveying its surroundings. With its keen eyesight, the gharial patiently waits for the right moment to strike. When the opportunity arises, the gharial uses its streamlined body and powerful tail to propel itself through the water with astonishing speed. Its agility and precise movements enable it to swiftly close in on unsuspecting fish. Once in close proximity to its target, the gharial strikes with lightning-fast precision. It snaps its jaws shut, utilizing the interlocking teeth to secure a firm grip on the fish. The sharp teeth effectively prevent the prey from escaping, ensuring a successful capture. As a pisciferous predator, the gharial predominantly hunts fish. Its long slender snout is particularly well suited for catching fish from the water. With its narrow profile, the gharial can swiftly slice through the water, creating a minimal disturbance and reducing the chances of fish detecting its presence. The gharial's hunting strategies relies on surprise and speed capitalizing on the element of surprise to seize its prey. The gharial's hunting behavior is also influenced by the seasonal availability of prey. During the monsoon season, when rivers swell and fish become more dispersed, gharials adjust their hunting tactics. They may employ ambush strategies, positioning themselves near riverbanks or in shallower areas where fish are concentrated, waiting for the opportune moment to strike. Although fish form the primary part of its diet, Gharials have been known to opportunistically prey on other aquatic creatures, such as crustaceans and amphibians. However, their hunting techniques are most efficient when targeting fish due to their specialized adaptations. The gharial's hunting behavior not only demonstrates its exceptional physical capabilities, but also highlights its critical role in regulating fish populations within river ecosystems. As predators, Gharials play a crucial ecological role by controlling fish populations and maintaining the balance of these delicate habitats. Breeding Season and Courtship The breeding season and courtship rituals of gharials are fascinating displays of complex behaviors and interactions. These events are crucial for the species' reproduction and the continuation of their lineage. Gharials have a distinct breeding season that typically occurs during the dry winter months of their native range. As water levels recede, sandbanks and sandy river shores become exposed, providing ideal nesting sites for gharials. The season often begins in December and extends into January or February. During the breeding season, male gharials establish territories along the river banks, often marking them with vocalizations and head-slapping displays to ward off potential competitors. They are highly territorial and will fiercely defend their nesting sites. To attract females, male gharials engage in elaborate courtship displays. One such display involves the male arching its elongated body, raising its head high above the water, and emitting a series of loud hisses and roars. This vocalization serves to both attract females and establish dominance over rival males. As the courtship display intensifies, the male gharial may engage in impressive physical maneuvers. He lifts his snout and waves it back and forth in a sweeping motion, creating ripples in the water. This behavior is often accompanied by rapid movements of the forelimbs and tail, creating a visual spectacle. Females attracted by the displays and vocalizations approach the male's territories. Upon reaching a male's territory, the female initiates physical contact by rubbing her snout against the male's body. This behavior, known as nuzzling, is an important part of the courtship process. An example of the courtship display can be observed along the sandy banks of the Rapti River in Nepal. A male gharial establishes its territory patrolling the area and emitting resonant hisses. As the sun begins to set, the male arches its body, lifts its snout, and starts the sweeping motion, creating mesmerizing ripples in the water. The female enticed by the spectacle approaches the male, nuzzling against its body in a tender moment of courtship. Nesting and Parental Care once the courtship rituals have successfully led to mating, gharials exhibit interesting nesting behaviors and display a level of parental care uncommon among reptiles. After mating, field gharials search for suitable nesting sites along sandy riverbanks or sand bars. They use their hind legs to dig deep holes, often several meters long, in which they lay their eggs. 
These nests are meticulously constructed to provide a safe and thermally stable environment for the developing embryos. Once the nest is prepared, the female lays her clutch of eggs, which can range from 20 to 60 eggs depending on the individual. The female covers the eggs with sand, carefully concealing them from potential predators. She then uses her powerful tail to create a mound over the nest, providing an added layer of protection. After the nesting process, the female gharial's role is complete and she returns to the water. The responsibility of incubating and protecting the eggs falls solely on the male gharials, a behavior unique among crocodilians. The male gharials, also known as bulla, guards the nests with great vigilance. They often construct bulla's nests, which are elevated sand mounds located near the nesting site, providing a vantage point for surveillance. The males defend the nests against predators and maintain the optimal temperature and humidity conditions required for successful incubation. During the incubation period, which lasts approximately 70 to 90 days, the male gharials diligently monitor the nests. They use their snouts to gently roll the eggs, ensuring even heat distribution and preventing the embryos from sticking to the eggshells. Once the eggs hatch, the male gharials assist the hatchlings by carefully excavating the nests, using their snouts and forelimbs to gently uncover the young gharials. This aid in hatching is another remarkable example of the parental care displayed by gharials. The young gharials or hatchlings are highly vulnerable at this stage and depend on their fathers for protection. The males remain near the nest, providing guidance and guarding the hatchlings against predators until they are ready to venture into the water. Gharial is on the brink of extinction. With its population reduced to a mere fraction of its historical range, urgent conservation action is needed to safeguard its existence. But there is hope. Conservation organizations and passionate individuals are working tirelessly to protect gharials and restore their habitats. By supporting these organizations and spreading awareness about the critical state of gharials, we can contribute to their conservation.